Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. Before we get to the forecast, I want to show you a couple of great videos on my Facebook page. And uh, once again, there's been a lot of uh, activity going on with the cold air around. Snow guns have been blowing. This is uh, not at a ski resort. This is in Boise, or I should say in Eagle in the Treasure Valley. Gateway Parks in Eagle Island. They've got nine feet of snow from top to bottom. If you want to learn to ski or snowboard, if you want to go make some turns and not have to drive a little further, you've got it right here in the valley. And uh, that was a picture from overnight. You can check that out on my Facebook page. Plus, in case you missed it, Tamarack Resort opened several days ago, but here's some great drone footage that they shot of opening day at the time. So if you're wondering what are the conditions really like in the ski areas, there's been more snow since this was shot. This is not bad. So I'll tell you what, there's some good looking snow there in central Idaho. If you want to do some skiing, you can check out these videos on my Facebook page. In the meantime, over the next 10 days, even though winter arrives on Saturday, the temperature is going to be on the upswing. 35 today, 40 tomorrow, 50, 49 to 50 over the weekend. So we've got a warm surge of air coming in. But prior to that, we do have some snow in parts of the Treasure Valley, especially the western parts tomorrow morning, which could cause some slick roadways. But whatever falls is going to melt, even in the western valley, in the places that don't have snow on the ground right now. We get that warm up, but then a nice pronounced cool down. Here's the 25th of, of uh, December. We've got a chance of some snow showers and a similar story as we go on out to the following weekend and in the mountains we could be adding some snow. So that weekend right there on the uh, 28th is it 28th? Uh, and 29th, so 27, 28, 29. That weekend would be a great, wittery, snowy weekend in the Central Mountains. Maybe not a ton of new snow, but there will be new snow. And if you're planning on skiing and you want some winter conditions, that weekend looks amazing. This weekend is going to be fine as well if you don't like it too, too cold. Little light snow already showing up around the Blues already. So some light snow falling up north of Baker City, and the Blues will start to get slick overnight tonight as we get some snow coming in. Snow showers showing up in eastern portions of Oregon as well. Let's take a look at the winter weather advisories. These are the detailed high res uh, winter advisories, which you can well, you're going to get them right here because you're really not going to see it. Your phone may say you're under a winter weather advisory in Weezer, but you're not anymore. It's only areas around there. You have to go up in elevation just a little bit. We'll zoom in. Notice how the Treasure Valley is not in the advisories. There's a portion of the area just north and west of Ontario, north and west of Weezer in the higher elevations. All of Valley County, Long Valley is in uh, pretty much most of this is in the winter weather advisory where we can get three to six inches of snow, 10 inches on the mountain peaks above 6,000 feet. Looks pretty good. Eastern Oregon, more of a one to two inch type of snow, but but again, slick conditions, a good possibility over the blue is a likelihood overnight tonight and tomorrow as low pressure and moisture begins to stream in our direction for this storm system to move through. The future cast it shows tonight at midnight snow showers in the mountains and over the blue mountains of northeast Oregon pushes ahead to tomorrow. Our main push of moisture here it is coming into Idaho, but now it's 10 o'clock in the morning. If this comes in earlier, we have a chance for slick roadways in Boise. If it comes in on time, it's not going to be slick in downtown Boise with 34, but notice the 30 in Mountain Home, 31 in Ontario. So we'll have some snow. We'll have some slick roads in the morning by afternoon. No issues. I think we'll be fine as temperatures are above freezing, even though it may still be snowing. Road conditions will improve and then we'll turn over to rain for a good portion of the afternoon off and on in the Treasure Valley while the snow continues in those higher elevations. So the future chart does not show much in the way of snow in the valley. You see some patches here favoring the western valley up towards Ontario and Weezer, where a few inches could fall in the Weezer area. And look at these numbers, three to six inches in Long Valley, not looking bad. And over the blues is looking a little bit bad, not terrible, but a few inches of snow can cause some issues tomorrow morning over the blues will be on the slick side. And our ski areas, if you plan on doing some skiing, it actually looks pretty good with six to 10 inches of snow likely at Tamarack and Brundage, about four to seven inches likely at Bogus Basin, and two to four inches likely as you head down towards the Sun Valley Resort. So some good news for the ski areas with this storm system for the Treasure Valley tomorrow morning. Just watch out for some snow on the interstate. Tune into Good Morning Idaho tomorrow morning. Rachel Garso will give you the very latest. I don't think it's going to be an issue in the Boise area as the breeze may still be there keeping it warm, but some places will have some slick roads for that morning commute, but we're going to near 50 as the Sunday. winter officially begins over the weekend. That's crazy. It is crazy. All right, thanks, Scott.